Picture a civilization so advanced that even the gods envied it. A place where science, art, and power thrived until it vanished in a single day and night. Was it a myth, a warning, or a secret buried beneath the ocean? The legend of Atlantis challenges everything we think we know about history. For centuries, historians, archaeologists, and explorers have debated its existence, chasing shadows through time. Could Atlantis have been real, swallowed by the waves millennia ago? Join me as we dive into the mysteries of Atlantis. Our journey begins in ancient texts. Around 360 BCE, Greek philosopher Plato writes of a mighty island nation, Atlantis. Plato describes a civilization with advanced engineering and powerful warships. But why would Plato, a philosopher, devote so much time to this lost city? Was it a compelling narrative or a truth passed down through generations? Plato claims his tale isn't his own but from his ancestor Solon, who learned of Atlantis from Egyptian priests. These priests warned that Atlantis's fate was a cautionary tale about the fleeting nature of power and the dangers of hubris. Was Plato's Atlantis a real place or a philosophical fable? The answer remains elusive. Let's say Atlantis was real. Imagine a civilization so advanced and mysterious that it has captured the human imagination for millennia. Where could it have been? The quest to pinpoint its location has led to numerous theories and countless expeditions. Plato describes an island larger than Libya and Asia, beyond the Pillars of Hercules, likely the Strait of Gibraltar. This has led many to search the Atlantic Ocean for clues. He speaks of concentric rings, a vast plain, and towering mountains. These geographical features have intrigued historians and archaeologists alike. These descriptions have fueled centuries of speculation. Scholars have pored over ancient texts, trying to decode the mystery. Some place Atlantis in the Mediterranean, pointing to the Minoan civilization on Crete, devastated by a volcanic eruption around 1600 BCE. This theory suggests that the Minoans' advanced society could be the basis for the Atlantis legend. Others look to the Azores, Canary Islands, or even Antarctica. Each location offers its own set of intriguing possibilities and challenges. One theory connects Atlantis to the Richat structure in Mauritania, a massive circular formation visible from space. This Eye of the Sahara has captivated researchers with its striking resemblance to Plato's description. Could this be the footprint of a lost civilization? The search for physical evidence continues to this day. Another theory suggests Atlantis was a coastal city, perhaps on the shores of the Black Sea, wiped out by a catastrophic flood. This idea aligns with many ancient flood myths. The truth is buried beneath centuries of sediment and speculation. Each new discovery adds a piece to the puzzle, but the full picture remains elusive. But the hope of finding Atlantis continues to drive explorers, scientists, and dreamers alike. The allure of uncovering a lost world keeps the legend alive, inspiring new generations to search for the truth. What captures our imagination about Atlantis is its alleged technological prowess. Plato describes a civilization with advanced technologies, powerful weapons, and even flying machines. The Atlanteans possessed orichalcum, a mysterious metal stronger than bronze. Was this a real metal or a symbol of advanced knowledge? Some speculate it was a type of brass, but its true nature remains a mystery. Plato also describes temples adorned with silver and gold, advanced engineering, and fire-shooting chariots. Could a civilization so advanced have existed in our distant past? The idea has captivated thinkers and dreamers for centuries. The most enduring aspect of the Atlantis legend is its dramatic demise. Plato describes a cataclysmic event that wiped Atlantis off the map in a single day and night. He attributes Atlantis's downfall to the wrath of the gods, angered by the Atlanteans' arrogance. But what could have caused such a devastating event in the real world? Geologists and archaeologists propose volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, and even asteroid impacts. Some theories point to the Thera eruption, which devastated the Minoan civilization on Crete. Whatever the cause, the sudden disappearance of Atlantis serves as a reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of civilizations. The legend of Atlantis has inspired countless expeditions and fueled the dreams of explorers and archaeologists. One of the earliest attempts to locate Atlantis was made by the Greek historian Herodotus in the 5th century BCE. During the Renaissance, interest in Atlantis was rekindled by the rediscovery of Plato's writings. 
In the 19th century, modern archaeology and oceanography launched expeditions to the Mediterranean, Atlantic, and beyond. While none have yielded definitive proof, they have uncovered tantalizing clues such as ancient ruins and submerged structures. The search for Atlantis continues, driven by the desire to uncover the truth behind the legend. Was Atlantis unique, or could it have been connected to other ancient civilizations? One compelling link is to the Minoan civilization on Crete, known for its advanced culture and seafaring mastery. The Minoans were devastated by the volcanic eruption of Thera around 1600 BCE. Could the story of Atlantis be a distant echo of the Minoan civilization's demise? Beyond the Minoans, connections have been drawn to other ancient cultures, including the Egyptians and Phoenicians. While speculative, these connections highlight the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations and the possibility that the story of Atlantis might contain kernels of truth. The legend of Atlantis has inspired countless works of art, literature, film, and music. This mythical city, first mentioned by the ancient philosopher Plato, has captured the human imagination for centuries. Writers have long been drawn to the allure of Atlantis, using it as a backdrop for tales of adventure and science fiction. The idea of a lost civilization advanced beyond its time provides a rich canvas for storytelling. Jules Verne imagined a technologically advanced Atlantean society in 20,000 leagues under the sea. His vision of an underwater world teeming with innovation and mystery continues to inspire readers and writers alike. Filmmakers have also been captivated by the visual possibilities of a sunken city, from Disney's Atlantis The Lost Empire to Aquaman. These films bring to life the grandeur and mystery of Atlantis, making it a visual feast for audiences. Beyond fiction, Atlantis has fueled conspiracy theories and pseudoscientific claims. Some believe that the city was real and that its advanced technology could unlock secrets of the past. Some believe the city holds the key to unlocking ancient mysteries or even extraterrestrial contact. These theories, though often debunked, add another layer of intrigue to the legend. Whether depicted as a utopian paradise or a cautionary tale, Atlantis continues to exert a powerful hold on our imaginations. Its story serves as a reminder of the fragility of civilizations and the enduring quest for knowledge. The legend reminds us of the enduring power of myth and the allure of the unknown. Atlantis, whether real or imagined, remains a symbol of human curiosity and the endless possibilities that lie beneath the surface of our world. While the legend of Atlantis captures our imaginations, it's important to approach it with skepticism and scientific rigor. The allure of a lost advanced civilization is undeniably fascinating, but we must separate myth from reality. Despite centuries of searching, no definitive evidence of Atlantis's existence has been found. Numerous expeditions have scoured the ocean floors and ancient ruins, yet the elusive city remains a mystery. The scientific community generally considers Atlantis a fictional creation of Plato's imagination. His writings, while intriguing, are often seen as allegorical tales, rather than historical accounts. There is no archaeological or geological evidence to support the existence of a technologically advanced civilization in the mid-Atlantic during Plato's time. Extensive studies of the region's geology and archaeology have yielded no signs of such a society. Many arguments put forth by Atlantis enthusiasts rely on circumstantial evidence or pseudoscience. These theories often lack the rigorous scrutiny and empirical data required by the scientific method. While catastrophic events can cause localized subsidence, the complete disappearance of an island the size Plato describes is highly improbable. Geological processes and natural disasters do not support such a dramatic vanishing act. The search for Atlantis has enriched our understanding of history, archaeology, and the enduring power of human curiosity. It has inspired countless explorations and debates, highlighting our desire to uncover the mysteries of our past. Even if Atlantis never existed as a physical place, its legacy extends far beyond geography and history. The legend has become an enduring metaphor, a cautionary tale that speaks to the human condition. Atlantis represents the allure and danger of utopian ideals and the cyclical nature of history. The city's sudden demise serves as a reminder that even the most idyllic societies are vulnerable to corruption and change. The story highlights the rise and fall of civilizations and the fleeting nature of power. On a personal level, Atlantis can be seen as a metaphor for our own individual journeys. 
the legend continues to resonate because it speaks to something fundamental about the human experience. After centuries of searching, where does the legend of Atlantis stand? Despite the lack of conclusive evidence, the allure of Atlantis persists. Perhaps it's the mystery or the possibility of a technologically advanced civilization lost to time. The search for Atlantis continues to inspire explorers, scientists, and dreamers. New theories emerge, expeditions are launched, and the debate rages on. The search for Atlantis has become a journey of discovery, leading to new insights into our planet's history and the depths of our oceans. The story of Atlantis reminds us that there are still mysteries to be solved and wonders to be discovered. When we contemplate the vastness of the cosmos, the story of Atlantis takes on a new meaning. It becomes a microcosm of the great cosmic drama, a reminder of the cyclical nature of creation and destruction. The universe is full of mysteries of lost worlds and forgotten histories. While we may never know if Atlantis existed, the legend serves as a reminder of the importance of exploration and questioning our assumptions. Think about the countless worlds that might exist out there, each with its own unique history. The search for knowledge is a journey without end, beginning right here on Earth.